Welcome to part two of my amazing Scottish journey. I'm in pursuit of grouse, stag, whiskey and salmon. So far I've driven up the motorway and I've stayed overnight in a hostel and it's time to go grouse shooting this morning. Morning, so after a pretty decent night's sleep actually, I'm up and about, look, you can see all the rabbits. Um, unfortunately the weather isn't gonna be looking good today. I can't wait to meet Peter who I've known for a little while now. And hopefully he's gonna talk me through exactly what today looks like, why we're shooting grouse, how they're shooting grouse, what we can expect, and then it's time to get up on the hills. So he'll be here in about half an hour. I'm gonna make some breakfast now with this carrot cake porridge that I love. And um, this is a great bit of kit that I've taken a few places now. And it's just basically an oil, um, a bio oil burner. And you just take that off, that just douses the fire. And then you take that, lid off and you will be able to see the oil that just sits up there it's completely sort of smokeless um there's no heat transfer down uh, at all and it's just a case of lighting it like that and then i always carry one of these enamel pans around now with it and i just put that on top the porridge in add in your milk and now it's just a case of waiting and i reckon that'll take about 15 minutes to be ready. So it's a really, really cool bit of kit. I'll put the link in the description below. There you go, bang on cue, 15 minutes later, bubbling away nicely, it's thickened up, and that is gonna taste fantastic. There you go, you can see the flame a bit better now that it's warmed up. And then all you do to put that out, put the lid on it, boom, and it's out. Welcome to the Glorious 12th. We are in the Angus Glens, and today we are going to be uh, doing walked up grouse. Not driven grouse, but walked up grouse. Slightly different, and hopefully when Alex uh, explains this later on in his video, you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. But we will be going up on the hill shortly. The weather's not that favorable, as you can see. There's a bit of high cloud up there, but we will uh, we'll endeavor to uh, bring you some good footage. Some may know and be familiar with that uh, grouse appears as of today on uh, top London uh, restaurant menus. So the first grouse that will be shot on the hills of Scotland will be flown probably by helicopter and delivered and prepped and be served tonight in some of your top London restaurants. So the plan, we've got, as we've got Alex, the hunter-gatherer cooking up here, is to actually take those grouse straight off the hill and uh, butcher them and literally cook them up and serve them to our guests hopefully. So let's hope they can shoot straight and we, uh, we have a good day. Well, welcome to Scotland, welcome to Balmawath everyone. The main deal today is to have a good day of fun. However, safety is paramount. Only shooting grouse in front. You can shoot grouse behind as well. Black grouse, yeah. The, we're not shooting these today, only red grouse. The black grouse is a bit, a bit bigger as well has a very slow wing beat. Red grouse gets up and its wings go very fast. Just enjoy your day, walk at a comfortable pace for yourself and we'll all walk at whoever's walking at the slowest pace. Radio check, Tom, radio check. So we, we've, we've obviously got clients here today. We've, we've got French guests here. Um, they come to the hill. They're probably not wearing the traditional glorious 12th or a, a grouse shooting attire. Many of them are in a smock and their camouflage and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter as long as you pay respect to the, to the game. You can see the sporting agent here. His tweed is uh, it's a very nicely cut tweed. It's, it's a fashion tweed more for him rather than obviously myself and Tom, who you'll notice uh, we've both got our plus fours, the longer, longer flare on the tweed that basically takes you right down to your boots, your gaiters tuck underneath it. We don't end up, it's just, just, just the way a, a Scottish keeper's tweed is. So when we just saw a grouse fly over, I was just explaining, um, they obviously don't get a, a huge amount of height and they like to dip and dive. So it does make them the challenging, it's a challenging shoot. So once we were out the cars, it was time to make a plan, lighten the load a little bit and then start walking. 
This was by far the hardest walk I have ever been on. Nothing can prepare you for this terrain. Just hold it there. You hold the line so that we can basically go and retrieve the bird so we don't leave anything behind. Now, as an observer, I had no idea what was going on. The rain was absolutely smashing it down. I had my glasses on, couldn't see a thing, and it was just a case of just keep walking. This video pretty much sums up uh, everything I saw and how I felt. It was uh, probably a 45 degree hill, which is hard to show in a video, but it is that knackering. So there is six in the bag so far, which is great. Peter's just gone off, I think, to get another one or two. I'm trying to capture some shot footage, but of course we haven't got guns, so just a case of holding the line. But the terrain is just incredible. It's, uh, it is quite difficult to walk um, and making sure you keep your feet and your footings. But it is a brilliant experience. Absolutely brilliant. Now, as the weather got worse, the microphone stopped working. I was so grateful Peter told me to put my deer stalking kit on. So although on the outside it was very cold, very wet and very windy, on the inside I was actually dry as a bone. This guy on the other hand just kept surprising me. He has got so much energy for this. We good? We're good. <laughs> Do you know what's funny is I just turned it on. Like a f***ing goat aren't you? Are we good? Good. Now at this point even I could tell that we were on our way back to where we left the cars. We started off over in that group of trees over there and we've walked all the way up into the clouds, all the way around behind me, back down here and now we're heading back to the car. It's now coming up to one o'clock. I couldn't believe the lunch that we were about to have. As everyone came in off the hill, we moved towards the cars and I noticed that the ponies had actually brought our lunch up. <laughs> what are you having, young man? Gin and tonic or a beer? Here you go. That's a good sign. Yeah. The boot pull. <laughs> Well, the weather has sort of got a bit better. Um, it's very much on and off this afternoon. But it is what it is. It is everything Scottish. The grouse are obviously going up. Getting shot, so I guess the guests are happy. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get given a grouse to cook for later or tomorrow or something. So. Now I just want to say a massive thank you to Tom who's the gamekeeper here. He kindly invited me along and allowed me to film. If you're interested in doing anything like this then I'll put all the contact details in the description below. There is a little bit more left of this video so keep watching, keep subscribing and hit the thumbs up button. So the grouse day was absolutely amazing. It was hard work, seriously hard work. Um, you know the elements do not make it easy for you at all and the hills are crazy steep and the heather at times is so thick but nevertheless it was an amazing day so I'm off to uh, a hotel tonight uh, hopefully I can have a nice hot bath have a cuppa and a pint relax chill out 
But uh, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you are. It will help with everything. And I really appreciate it. What a day. Fun, you do the honours. A honey. <laughs> You're going to carry me over the threshold. <laughs> <laughs> can't even carry me. <laughs> oh, look at that. I've only seen one bed. Okay, <laughs> a few. There are two. That two? Shotgun window? So thanks for watching this video. Part three is going to be where I actually shoot my very first deer and it's a red stag. It's a hell of a video. So make sure you subscribe and I will catch you for the next one.